Hello, I'm Ian Witten and I want to tell you about our FLAX system for language learning exercises that works within Moodle. This project is centered in New Zealand. Here's a map of the world. When we look at the world we think of New Zealand as being on the top. We're in the top left hand corner and that's where the FLAX project is centered. The URL is flax.nzdl.org. We call it FLAX for Flexible Language Acquisition. FLAX is also a New Zealand plant. You can see some up at the top of the screen. I run a project that's producing software for digital libraries. Our vision for language learning is that libraries contain the world's best prose, the best examples of natural English. And digital libraries not only contain the world's best prose, but the text can be extracted and manipulated automatically by computer programs. So this creates the potential for making practice exercises for students from the text in the digital library. And since digital libraries contain a lot of text, a huge number of practice exercises can be created. Not just a huge number, but a huge variety of different kinds of exercise. This short Moodle course will show you how to make exercises yourself, exercises that are tailored for your students and their learning goals. When you use FLAX, you're using a digital library. Digital libraries are often thought of as high technology that runs on advanced and expensive computers, but actually our digital library system works in a fairly low-tech environment. Here are some students in Africa who are using our software on really pretty primitive computers. They're reading books in a digital library. But what I'm talking about here is students working on language learning exercises using the same software. Your students will be working within Moodle, and behind the scenes, Moodle will be putting them in communication with the Flax digital library server. And the Flax server can run on ordinary low-end workstations. Digital libraries are focused collections of information. They're usually on the web, and you can search and browse them. And the great thing about digital libraries is that you can decide what information goes in and you can decide how your students are going to use it. Contrast this with exercises created automatically from text found on the web. You might end up looking at some bad examples of English that aren't correct or are unsuitable for your students in other ways. But using a digital library gives the possibility of quality control on the text that's being used for exercises. So you're in control of the teaching situation. You're in control of the exercises that your students get to use. And you're in control of the material that the exercises are based on. Digital libraries typically contain a large number of documents and a huge number of sentences. The FLAX system can extract automatically from this large collection examples for you to use in your exercises. We've created a number of different kinds of activity, of language activity. In some, students work individually. In others, students compete with one another. And on still others, students collaborate with each other. If we zoom in on the screen at the bottom, you can see a selection of language activities available in the FLAX system. There are word guessing games, scrambled sentences games, image guessing games, matching words with definitions, fill in the blanks, several different exercise types, all based on sentences drawn from the digital library. Not all these are available through Moodle yet, but we're working on it. Now let's think about what your students see. When you create FLAX exercises for your students, they'll just be ordinary exercises within Moodle. You'll be doing some yourself in a minute. Your next question will be, how were these exercises created? What did the language teacher have to do to set them up? Well, they're just activities in Moodle and you add them to your course in the usual way. It takes just a minute or two to make a FLAX exercise and add it to your course. And your next question will be, how do I use my own text for the exercises? This is also very easy. You can create 
a digital library collection in Flax by cutting and pasting article text into a web page and continuing for as many articles as you want. Again, it takes only a few minutes. Then you can use them just for your own students or you can share them with others in your institution. Very soon, if you continue with this course, you'll be doing all these things. But before you do, I want you to know that this is a fast-moving research and development project. We have some exciting things coming up, like exercises that involve guessing images, and ones that teach collocations, words that go together. We've built an amazing database of 30 million English collocations that students can use to improve their fluency and their writing in a chosen domain. And this is really exciting. We have a prototype system that allows your students to download FLAX exercises, ones that you have designed, onto their mobile phone and do their assignments anywhere they want. And of course we're working on other languages, Spanish and Japanese, and also Māori, the language of indigenous New Zealanders. Just so as you know, all this software is distributed for free. It's open source software. You can go to this website and find out more about our project. We very much hope that you use it. We'd like your students to benefit from it, and we'd like to hear about your experiences. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye and enjoy.